it's cruel of the royal family to exclude Fergie from the coronation. Whatever ignominious she may have visited on the house of Windsor in the past, she has been a loyal presence since. Poor Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, is putting on a brave face about her exclusion from next month's coronation of King Charles III, her one-time brother-in-law. She has clearly had to come to terms with being persona non grata in royal circles and at a recent event in New York to promote her latest book, bravely explain the lack of an invitation. Thus, I am traveling at the moment, so maybe it has gone to another place. No one had the heart to tell her that the save the date invitations went out by email, but then Feggy, in an appearance on Loose Women last week, went a little further. She said, I also love to watch it on telly. She said, cheerfully, because you hear a lot on telly. She didn't exactly say that she was NFI, but we got the message, you know. I think it, 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 it's rather mean of the royal family to exclude Fergie. Whatever ignominy she may have visited on the Windsor, on the House of Winter in the past, she has been a loyal presence since. Has raised two princesses, stood by her disgraced ex-husband, Andrew, being publicly supportive to Charles and Camilla, and most importantly, now has two of the late queen's cousins in her care. Imagine what it would do for the rehabilitation of her public image if she were to lead Sandy and Mwik in regal procession into the abbey. On reflection, maybe that's the reason why she wasn't invited. Either way, there will be many, many people on May 6 who will have a lesser claim to sit in Westminster Abbey than Fergie, like for instance, Humza Youssef, the leader of the SNP and the First Minister of Scotland, an avowed Republican, he has decided to give a Scottish independence match a miss in favour of the big ticket and to be there among the bubbles and the coronet. At this point, I have to check myself. I sound like someone who actually cares, which I very definitely done. I don't care who is there and who isn't. I have no opinion on whether Camilla should be queen rather than queen concert. I'm not bothered that Joe Biden isn't going or that Jonathan Dimbley won't be commentating. I don't even have a fully formed view on whether Harry and Meghan should or shouldn't be there. And I can't find it myself to be scandalized by Camilla's politically incorrect ivory scepter. I don't mean to sound like a professional um, miserableist or a joyless Republican offended by the vast amount of public spending and the incongruous display of opulence. It's just that the whole farrago is a glorious irrelevance, a diversion that enables the pubs to stay open and allows us to take a day off work, notwithstanding that hardly anyone works on Monday anyway.